the, the uh, surprisingly simple looking theorem, but, but it has remarkable consequences. The Sprague Grundy theorem says that any impartial game, that is, any game in which the moves for the two players are the same, um, is equivalent to any position in any such game, is equivalent to a heap of beans in the game of Nim. So all you need to know is how many beans in the heap. <laughs> and that, there's, there's the snag. For example, Grundy's game, which you hardly have a simpler game. It's just played with a heap of beans. And when it's your move, you divide the heap into two unequal heaps. And Grundy, well, he analyzed this game up to about heaps of about 1,600, I think, and using an IBM 1620, which was all that was available in those days. and. Uh, and then when I, when I got to Calgary, there was uh, Jack Kenyon came along and said he wanted to do some graduate work, so I gave him uh, these things to look at, and he, so he pushed the values for Grundy's game up to some hundreds of thousands or something. Elwyn Burleykamp, he pushed it further still, and he discovered this remarkable common coset sparse space phenomenon, which enabled you to do the calculations in linear time instead of squared time. And uh, so my son then pushed it up to some millions. And people have now, I think uh, Akim Flamenkamp has pushed it up to something like 14 billion. And we still can't find any pattern. And uh, so it's astonishing how, you know, such a simple simple result, and yet it seems to lead to chaos <laughs> pretty, pretty much in some cases.